you guys this is gonna be the first entry in Papillon's um, overwintering blog and I'll put this on his page and probably on the website also um, for people who don't know the story Papillon is a male monarch butterfly who's born in Colorado northern Colorado very late in the season um, typically I think our peak this year was mid-September. Um, typically, you know, by the end of the month, they're gone already. Um, and Papillon was born very late. So, unfortunately, he did not complete his metamorphosis before we had our first frost. And once the first frost comes, all the flowers are killed. What's left? I mean, we don't have much in the way of nectar producing flowers this time of year, but, um, you know, by the time it gets October, there's not much left for them, and they definitely need that fuel to make a very impressive migration. Um, so the eastern population monarchs, of which Papillon is one, the late summer generation is the super generation, and they're the ones that migrate. So Papillon has kind that were born this time of year. Um, their metabolisms are slower and they're in a state called reproductive diapause, which means, you know, typical butterflies, they're born, they find mates, they breed, make babies, and that's it. These guys wait because they have to travel so far. Um, some of them travel up to 3,000 miles. Um, and they weigh less than a gram. Like, this is seriously the most remarkable and fascinating phenomenon as far as migrations in nature. Um, monarchs are very precious and special, and we're losing them. So, Papillon's story, I'm hoping, is going to raise awareness for monarchs or give me a platform to help, you know, sharing our story, give us a platform to raise awareness for monarchs and hopefully encourage other people to start working to save them too because they are seriously endangered now in North America. This phenomenon is on the verge of collapse and we're gonna have to do it because if we sit around waiting for governments it's gonna be gone. Um, so Papillon generation migrate to a very special region, Mexico, and they go there and they line the fir trees like you know thousands and thousands thick and they overwinter, they sleep for the winter in a semi-hibernation. Like, they'll wake up, get drinks of water, um, but, you know, for the most part, they're sleeping. And they stay together like that to stay warm. And then in spring, they'll all start to come back to North America and make their journey back north again. So, no one butterfly makes the whole journey. Typically, it's you know, the fourth generation that are the ones that migrate. And this year, the numbers are lower than they've ever been as far as monarchs making the journey. So Papillon couldn't go because it was too cold. And I've been very attached to him because I raised him from an egg. He's a very special boy. Um, and I was devastated that he couldn't go on the migration too. So I started doing some research to see, all right, well, is it possible to overwinter them at home? And it turns out, after a great deal of research, I came upon the one man who has done this and talked about it. Um, this is not commonly done. The lepidopterist who's done it a lot, he's world famous and um, I am deeply indebted to him for his advice. So I've begun Papillon's overwintering process. Today is a wake up day. He just spent his first week asleep and um, I'll provide more details on that but let's see him wake up and um, have some food. And this is our hangout time in between weeks of sleep, so I'm very excited to see him. And I know there's a lot of people on the internet who've been waiting to see him again, too. 
So you can follow our journey. There's a blog up now at WordPress. It's savethemonarchs.wordpress.com. We have a Facebook page that's called Save the Monarchs Papillon's Army and a Twitter account for the Monarchs. So I will put all that information in the description. And um, yeah, join us on the journey. Wish us luck. And I hope that perhaps we can inspire you to care for these beings and join the fight to save them. They need us, and we're their only hope. So, much love and be well. Let's go see Pat. I'm scared of that big guy. Big guy in the corner. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah, that's it. Come on. Come on, cutie pie. Stubborn right now. Hey, eat. No, he's not going on. He's going to be a little bastard right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh well, say, save the monarchs and I'll eat later. <laughs> Happy on So goofy. I need